इन दिस वीडियो टू डॉक्टर्स टू ओपिनियन अबाउट मार्क मार्केज फ्यूचर तो प्राक्रास घातली उगलूस फ्यूचर इन मोटो जीपी लाइज इन दी हैंड ऑफ पावियो क्वार्टरारो सेज लेन जार्विस and darren binder wows are in a phrasing says he has nothing to prove to anyone my name is sankalp and this is your racing news fix after the re-return of diplopia for mark marquez a lot of questions are being raised on his future in moto gp while many are just speculating spanish radio program el larguero called a famous spanish ophthalmologist dr javier coloma and asked him to assess mark's condition starting on a positive note dr coloma said I am optimistic about his recovery. He has recovered twice and his treatment is conservative. You have to wait a bit to see the magnitude of diplopia. He didn't get it until well after the accident, which makes us think it is not that serious. In a couple of months, he may be fully recovered. But also casting doubts over the longevity of Mark's career, Dr. Coloma warned, "History has shown that the nerve is damaged. Although he has regained his sight, the recovery has not been complete. Every time there is trauma or inflammation, it will happen again." Mark's career is in danger because with that double vision you cannot ride. On the other hand, the creator of Clinica Mobile, Dr. Claudio Costa feels much more optimistic about Mark's recovery and is confident that the 8-time world champion will win again. Dr. Costa started by saying, "Surely his first wound has left a scar and unfortunately the facts regarding this are unfavorable. The fact that he did not go under the knife is good." what he has now is very mild and with adequate medical treatment and rehabilitation can be resolved in a short time it can even disappear from morning to afternoon so i hope this happens as soon as possible just like dr coloma dr costa also believes that since he did not immediately have the vision problem it might be a sign of a milder injury dr costa said in my opinion being a very mild form it can be a swelling of the muscles something that has accentuated the old scar i think it can be resolved long before 3 months Tomorrow morning he could wake up and see clearly. Although Fabio Quartararo managed to stand on the podium at Indonesia, he is far from being convinced to sign the extension of his contract with Yamaha. Yamaha have made it plenty clear that Fabio is their first priority, but they are also prepared with a plan B in case talks fail to materialize with the reigning world champion. For months there have been talk of Toprak Razgatlioglu's arrival to MotoGP and now Lin Jarvis has revealed that Toprak is their first option for the factory team if Fabio Quartararo decides to go elsewhere. Jarvis started by saying, "Toprak is with Yamaha in the World Superbike team. Obviously, he aspires to make a place for himself in the Yamaha MotoGP factory team. But we can only talk about it if there is a seat available. Our priority is to extend Fabio's contract, and if we were to find an agreement with Fabio under normal circumstances, there would be no vacancy in the official team. But in the last 10 years, we have learned that you never know what happens at the end, so we have to wait. Everything is in the hands of Fabio Quartararo and his decision whether or not to continue with Yamaha." Alternatively, Yamaha is willing to offer Toprak Razgatlioglu a factory bike in Razlan Rosales RNF racing team provided the team's contract extends beyond 2022. But as we already know, Toprak's manager has rejected any possibility of him moving to a satellite team. And back when Darren Binder's arrival directly from Moto3 to MotoGP was announced, a lot of premier class riders brought up the need of F1 like super license system to block such moves in future. At the Indonesian GP, Darren Binder overtook many of those riders on his way from 23rd on the grid to 8th place before he finally saw the checkered flag in P10. Darren was by far the best rookie on Sunday with all the others in P17 or lower in the standings. He also finished ahead of some big names like Bagnaia, Vinales and Bastianini. Darren Binder said, "I don't really have anything to prove to anyone. At the end of the day, I have been given this opportunity and I'm trying to make the most of it. I'm trying to do my best in every session." I have been known to crash in the past but right now I feel I haven't reached 80% of what this bike is capable of. Okay, I'll make mistakes trying to find the way, but I feel like in Moto3 I definitely overrode sometimes because I wanted too much and was asking too much from the equipment I had. But that is in the past and now I'm trying to learn and focus on moving forward. His impressive performance also earned him words of appreciation from his team boss Razlan Razali. Razali said On Darren side I can just say wow that was an impressive rookie ride in 10th fighting against many fast riders his ability to ride in the rain was really spectacular and we are extremely happy with him if you made it till here and still are not subscribed what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell here are two more videos which you might enjoy my name is Sankal and I'll be back with another video very soon